Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Oxford Reviews and How To. And on today's video, I'm going to show you a super cheap way of adding both Bluetooth and Wi Fi to your motherboard that doesn't have it already. And you don't need any drivers. Absolutely fantastic. And for less than £10, you cannot go wrong. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to a USB-enabled device very, very easily and extremely cheaply. This little device at the moment on Amazon.co.uk is costing less than £9, £8.99 currently. I'll put some links in the video description, so if you want to add Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to your device, you certainly can do very, very easily and very, very cheaply. And obviously, it's going to save you a ton of money on some motherboards. So if you're looking at a AM4 motherboard, looking for a bargain basement one, such as the Asus B550s or possibly even the B550 Gaming Plus from MSI, which we've reviewed recently, that sadly doesn't come with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, both of which a lot of people do require these days. So adding £10 onto the price of your build isn't a great deal and can solve a lot of headaches. So pros and cons of this little device, obviously very, very cheap, very, very compact, and also the drivers are built in. So if you're using Windows 7 upwards, then you should find this a completely plug and play experience. But if it doesn't, there is actually a little flash chip on board this device, which mounts a image onto your computer so you can install the drivers straight from here. So if you've maybe just installed Windows and you put in the drive and for some reason Windows doesn't automatically detect it, fear not the actual device has a built-in driver pack, so you can install it, so you still don't need to be connected to the internet, which is absolutely great. And it's something which I wish a lot of device manufacturers would do, and certainly it doesn't appear to have added any costs. So when we look at some of the cons, so unfortunately it isn't the fastest Wi-Fi, this is only AC, so you are limited to 600 megabits per second, and that is split across two bands, so it is dual band, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, so you're looking at up to 150 megabits for the older 2.4, and up to 433 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The Bluetooth, however, is pretty new. It's Bluetooth 5.0, so that's going to include enhanced data rate and is going to be backwards compatible with those older Bluetooth 4 devices also. So this should pretty much do most things for most people. So is it actually any good? Well, let's plug it into the PC and see how it goes. Okay, so starting off, this is the uh, Amazon page, as you can see. So this is the device. You can see it a lot larger there and all the specs, etc. Again, Links will be in the video description, but as you can see, $8.99 currently here in the UK, which I feel is an absolutely fantastic price. But is it actually any good and does it work very easily? So this is our Windows 11 desktop, and as you can see from the bottom here, currently we have no internet access and no connections are available, which is uh, bad. We don't like that at all. So let's plug in this little USB device and see what happens. So there we go. You can see the auto players come up, so it's actually mounted a driver disc. So there you can see, go into my computer and you can see there is a Realtek disc load up there. So we go into that. You'll see the Wi-Fi install setup come up. You won't see this on the screen because the user account controls kicked in and OBS won't do that. So you can go through and do the uh, automatic installation if you want to. The way to find out if you actually do need to do it or not is if you uh, go into device manager, and you see if the devices are there. So if we go into network adapters, here we can see currently it, for some reason, doesn't appear to be installed. So let's quickly go through the auto install. So again, it should have installed itself straight away. For some reason, it hasn't done. But there we go, it's uninstalled and reinstalled. And there we go, now we've got our Realtek 8821CU wireless LAN adapter. And it's installing all the necessary things there. And now also we've got Bluetooth as well. So excellent stuff. So we can close all this down. And now we can see we've got both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi available. So if we go into our Wi-Fi, and there we go, we're connected and secured. So awesome stuff. So that is now working. So in theory now, if we open up a web page, there we go, we have got internet access. So let's do a uh, quick speed test. Now at the moment my internet is uh, very broken, so this uh, may not be as good as, as it should be. Yep, <laughs> you can see the uh, the internet is really, really broken here at the moment. Uh, for anybody who watches our live streams, you'll know exactly why uh, Virgin Media has gone a little bit pear-shaped in our road, but unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do any decent speed tests it seems, so yeah, 
it is what it is. So this is on the five gigahertz band. I have actually got the band split here at our place. So yeah, that is absolutely awful, but that is down to the actual internet provider rather than anything else. So obviously if you want to connect up to a uh, Bluetooth device, that's gonna be really easy to do as well. So if you go into your uh, connectivity, go into Bluetooth, you can then find a, uh, a device, it'll scan for them so you can see Bluetooth is working there. And it's gonna be Bluetooth 5.0 rather than being 4.2, which a lot of these older devices tend to use these days. So yeah, we have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth, and it's only cost us about nine pounds here in the UK. So there you go, a very cool little device and it potentially could save you a ton of money, especially if you're looking at motherboard prices these days. If you get one with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, generally you're gonna be paying about an extra 20 to 40 pounds, maybe even more, depending on the brand of motherboard. So this potentially can save you a lot of money if you're perhaps looking at a budget bargain build. And also if you wanna see more about budget builds, then we do have a playlist of budget builds, so you're more than welcome to check that out. I think that's gonna wrap this one up. An excellent value proposition for those of you looking to add Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your Windows device. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.